everyone! Hello everyone! Gingerbread Player here and we're playing Mario Party 9! In other words, just to play series. So yeah, in this video... Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, so sorry. I'm Whoa! That was such... Um... It's just that the charger fell. Watch my how I record video so that you know what I mean. So yeah, my charger fell, and it created such a ruckus that I had to pause the video. And I put my phone to it, so and, so, and then I zoom in, so yeah. But, but, it's in a different position because I'm trying something else. And because I need to keep it on the edge, I need to be careful. So, yeah. Let's hurry up! We're already almost a minute in. Come on, come on. Start! Yes! We did it exactly at one minute where we pressed the start button. We need to hurry because we're a minute late. No, 30 seconds late. No! And here's the chance mini game. The chance mini game gives more points. Now it's time for everybody to pick the three mini games they want to play. Um, okay, okay. That one. That one, that one, wait, that one. You won't know what I picked, sorry. Let's get started, please enter your pipes. And now for your first challenge. Sorry you can't see everything, but I try the best I can. The first mini game is Tuber Tug, Tuber Tug. Who will play this mini game? I wonder who. I wonder, no I didn't do it. No! It's Daisy! Since no one else chose this minigame, you automatically win 100 points. I should have picked it! Now she's winning. Yeah, I'm Mario. So yeah. This is a little bit after the other video. The second minigame is Player Conveyor. Who will play this minigame? Who will? And who won't? I'm the only one who did it! It's Mario! Since no one else chose this minigame, you automatically win 100 points! Yay! Let's add those points to your score. Sorry you can't see everything, but that's just how I record. Here are our current standings. And now, for the next match, please return to your pipe. Here's your next challenge. So everyone chose those three. The third minigame is Bomb Barge. Who will play this mini game? It could be me. It could not be me. It might be. No, I didn't. It's a face-off between Luigi and Peach. It's a match between comp players or computer. Let's just cut to the chase to keep things snappy. Let's get going. The winner is Peach. Peach won. Let's add those points to your score. Here are our current standings. Let's move on to the next match. Please return to your pipes. Here's your next challenge. The fourth minigame is Pit or Platter. Chance minigame! It's time for the chance minigame. Who will win to earn extra points? Who will play this minigame? Who will? Everyone. Look out! It's everyone versus for themselves in a four-way battle. This is going to be a tough match. Good luck, everybody. Let's get going. If you hear anything in the background, it's just my family. My sister or my mom or my cousin or my friends. So, yeah. Let's get started. Don't fall. No! He said, whoops. Really? I'm behind. I'm behind. I need to be careful, because I'm usually bad at this. I'm usually good at this, but for some reason I'm bad at this right now. Ah, no! Come on! Come on! Yes! I won by three points! <laughs> you kind of can't see the bottom. 
kind of. Bottom doesn't really have much, except the text. Mario won! I got 150 points. Let's add those points to your score. Here are our current standings. Okay, let's move on to the next match. Please return to your pipes. Wow, this has been short. This is it, the final challenge. The final mini game is Temple Temple. Who will play this mini game? Everyone. Look out! It's everyone for themselves in a four way battle. This is going to be a tough match. Good luck, everybody! Let's get going! Let's battle! Do 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 That's a Pokemon reference. If you don't like, then just. Haters gonna hate. I don't know. I'm not really much of that person. Mario needs to survive! He needs to save the princess! Okay, now. Uh, um. What does Mario do after this? How are they saved? They fall in lava! Well, it's like they go on a mini island. The Mario has to save them all. By using. I don't know, a flower? No! No. Get a Luigi! Oh. I won! Yay! Mario won! All five mini games have been completed, and it looks like we have a winner! Luigi got last with 110 points. Daisy and Peach got second with 160 points. And I won with 350! Mario is the winner! With gold. Yeah, Peach and Daisy got second because, yeah. Luigi got last because if, since, if, if more than two people are in the same place, it just skips ahead, like, if they got third and stuff like that. So, yeah. We're just gonna play, like, a couple mini games until it's at least 10 minutes. So, yeah. My videos are 10 to 15 minutes, if not one second after. Nice job! That was quite a competition. Yeah, um... Let's look at the stars. So, yeah. This is a Super Bro Major. A constellation named after a hero famous for his mustache, red cap, and, and dominant spirit. He's also quite popular with the princesses. Princess Major. A constellation at, named after a beautiful princess who has, been, who has a tendency to get kidnapped by reptilian villains. Hero's best buddy. A constellation resembling Mario's trustworthy, trustworthy companion. When he jumps, he appears to pedal the air, which is the cutest thing you ever did see. Now it is. The advisor. A constellation inspired by the loyal attendant of Princess Peach. Though small, there are few who work as hard. Yeah. That's true. Super Bro Miner. A constellation that named after the brother of a hero. He's still pretty brave in his own right, even if he's scared of ghost monsters and everything. At least that's positive. Speedy Shell, a constellation that brings to that brings to mind a ferocious shelled warrior. When kicked, he is capable of spinning away at frightening speeds. Yeah. Egg Thrower, a constellation resembling a strange creature that l launches eggs from her mouth. But how adorable is that ribbon? Her. It's a guy. Princess Minor. A constellation named after a princess who enjoys tennis, golf, soccer, and not getting kidnapped. That's better. Fireflower. Now let's do brick blocks first. A constellation named after blocks that break when struck from below. Be sure to break those blocks with your fist and not your head. It'll really hurt. Fireflower. A constellation resembling a lovely flower, though it makes a surprising tasty snacks. snack. It's spicy enough to cause anyone who eats it to breathe fire. Granite Soldier. 
A constellation inspired by the stalwart mushroom monsters who never give up no matter how many times they're squashed. Pipe. A constellation based on magical plumbing that causes those who enter to be transported to fantastic places. Votinus Globber. Yeah, Gobbler. A constellation based on a species of carnivorous plant that will eat almost anything. Some species are even said to breathe fire. Mushroom. A constellation based on a type of mushroom that causes anyone who eat it to grow causes any who eat it to grow bigger. Straight shot. A constellation named after a bullet that always files, flies in a straight line. Some find this attitude quite charming, other less so. And this is the last one, Hello Mole. We'll go after the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 34. The last 34 will be reviewed in, in the other episodes. Now let's go back to the Hello Mole. A constellation that takes its time for its name from a mole famed for his dig digging. Some people think he was cooler when, when he still was still underground. Yeah. This is the end of the episode! Aww. But. We'll look at. But I'll see you guys in the next video! Bye!